It's not an easy task earning a golden buzzer from one of the judges in AGT, especially when you're in a group. But the members of Chapel Heart, being as exceptionally talented as they are, managed to pull it off. But who exactly is a part of this prodigy group? Watch the video to the end to find this out. Chapel Heart is a band including three extremely talented women, Danica Hart, Devin Hart, and Treya Swindle, who grew up in a very small community called Hart Chapel. And yes, that's exactly where the band name comes from. They are indeed representing the place that they're from and it's pretty admirable. Danica Hart and Devin Hart, as you might have already guessed by the names, are sisters, whereas Treya Swindle is their cousin. Danica is famously known as the diva of the group and makes sure the group is always doing something that's completely different from the others. The singers of this band are known for being big fans of country music and said that Dolly Parton is their favorite singer and one of their biggest inspirations. In one of their performances, they performed one of their original songs called An Ode to Dolly and amazed millions of people in the audience. Another one of their original songs, You Can Have Him Jolene, can be considered as a sequel for Dolly Parton's classic plea from 1974. The only difference is that it's more energized and updated for the modern times. A lot of famous pop stars have tried covering Dolly Parton's masterpiece, Jolene, over the past few years, including Olivia Newton-John and Miley Cyrus, but none of them were able to pull it off as well as Chapel Heart did. Even famous bands like The White Stripes, The Sisters of Mercy, and Strawberry Switchblade was no good compared to them. Let's be honest, it's a very big deal when even Simon himself is impressed by somebody's performance. The night they performed that song, Simon applauded them and said, Trust me, I needed you today. What a night it was in AGT. Thanks to the judges of AGT and Terry Crews for pushing the golden button, Chapel Heart is going straight to the live shows. One thing is for sure, the band acquired millions of fans over just one performance, and we are not surprised. Now, let's talk about some interesting information about the members of this group. The trio was born in Mississippi and lived most of their lives in New Orleans. They also have been inducted into CMT's Next Women of Country in 2021. What's mind-blowing is that this talented group has already released two studio albums. And not only that, but they also have five singles, including Jesus and Alcohol, which even featured ZZ Top's Billy Gibbons on guitar. That's not all though. In the very same music video, Debbie Allen made an appearance as well, which is a pretty big deal. Despite all this success, the band hasn't yet been able to get themselves signed, even though they've been trying for years. The members say that it's been a hard time for them. In one of their interviews, they said, We've been trying to break into Nashville for the last couple of years, but it's kind of hard when I think country music doesn't look like us. To which surprisingly, Simon replied and said, Sometimes you just have to break that door down, and you may have just broken down that door with that performance. They're also praised by being called original and one of a kind because they have their own style of doing things and making music. Well, considering the amount of fans they've managed to acquire over the last few years, it's not surprising that they have earned the title of International Group of the Year. Their song, You Can Have Him Jolene, has earned the title of Song of the Year as well. That's not all. In Scotland, this trio was nominated for various categories by the British CMA. These categories included Group of the Year, Album of the Year, and many more. Luckily for their fans, the girls are back in town to release their sophomore year album and will be, once again, able to bring together with their performances and songs. In one of their interviews, they said that music for them is really important because it has this ability to make people understand each other. People from diverse backgrounds, beliefs, and spheres of life are able to connect with each other on a much deeper level. But will they be the winners of AGT Season 17? Well, that only time can tell. But in the meantime, the group is on their way to world domination since July 23rd of 2022 and will be having tours and concerts all over the country. Who knows? This might end up being their year after all. That's all for today's video. Click on any one of the two videos on your screen right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one.